Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is the third installment of basically going through different pro-metabolic meal ideas. I have one on breakfast, one on lunch, and now we're getting to the real meat and potatoes, pun intended, of dinner. And I'm gonna go through three different dinner ideas that each of them have a different protein source. One is chicken, one is fish, and one is beef. It's important that you're switching up your protein sources and not eating the same thing every single day or every single week. That's why I'm giving three different options of three different protein sources. So chicken, beef, and fish are all great protein sources on their own. They're very bioavailable, easy to absorb but you don't wanna eat only chicken or only fish or only beef. It's really good to have that variety so you can really reap the benefits of the different nutritional content of each of them and the different mineral content as well. Speaking of protein, we eat a lot of muscle meats, like beef and chicken, we eat a lot of muscle meats. And that can also disrupt your mineral balance, so that's why it's so important to eat from what's called nose to tail which means eating organ meats. And part of that is eating liver. Liver is packed full of essential nutrients like vitamin A. And if you don't wanna eat liver, I don't either. <laughs> There's a few different ways you can still get those great benefits. One way is by taking liver supplements. This is the exact liver supplement that I take. I get mine on Amazon and I'll put the link below in the description box, but I take liver every single day, again, to get all those good benefits from the nutrients and the minerals without actually having to eat liver. You can also buy liver raw and then cut it up into small portions and freeze it and essentially just eat it but frozen, so kind of just like shoot it down. Liver is definitely what you consider a pro-metabolic superfood. It is just packed full of those good nutrients that your body needs, that your liver specifically needs. So keep that in mind as we go through these three different meals, these three different proteins, that it still is really important to incorporate that nose to tail versus just focusing on muscle meats. Let's go. We're gonna start with chicken. So I cut one to two chicken breasts up into little cubes. How many chicken breasts you use is dependent on their size. And then we're gonna start with the marinade. So I chop into small pieces of red onion. You can also use a shallot. And then a third cup of liquid aminos, a third cup of pineapple juice, and two heaping tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of ketchup, and four garlic cloves minced. Next, add a teaspoon of ginger and as many red chili pepper flakes as you like. Combine that together and then pour onto the chicken. Add only about two thirds of the mixture and let it sit anywhere between 15 minutes to overnight in the fridge. Melt about one tablespoon of coconut oil into the pan and once it's hot enough, go ahead and add the chicken. While the chicken and the rice cook, it's time to make the mango salsa. I never measure anything when I'm making salsa, so you can just eyeball it, make it as spicy or as mild as you like. What I like to add is red onion, jalapeno, fresh mango, fresh lime juice, cilantro, and a bunch of salt. Mix up the salsa and then check the rice. I always cook my white rice in bone broth. Now it's time to make the sauce. Pour in the rest of the marinade and cook it down on simmer. And there you go. Okay, here's a really simple weeknight meal, but fair warning, I sliced my finger in this one, so don't look right now. Yeah, gross, it hurt really bad too, but I'm okay. Okay, back to food. So I chopped up some potatoes and Brussels sprouts and then topped them off with some avocado oil, added a bunch of salt, some pepper, garlic powder, and then rosemary. Combine all that together and then pop in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can use whatever beef you like. We get our, all of our beef from ButcherBox. It's all grass fed and grass finished. And we got sirloin steak tips. So that's what I use tonight. I cook them in butter with garlic and salt and pepper and let them cook up. When the veggies are almost done, take them out and top with Parmesan and then put them back and broil for about two minutes. Top with Malden salt and there you go. 
Now onto the fish protein. So I'm chopping up potatoes yet again, but I won't slice my finger open this time. Add the potatoes to water with an ungodly amount of salt. While the potatoes cook for about 10 minutes on boil, you can go ahead and make this tomato cucumber salad. So I'm just chopping up the tomatoes, cucumber, and red onion, then combine them in a bowl with fresh lemon, salt, oregano, and a little bit of olive oil. I used fresh rockfish that a friend of ours actually caught and I just patted it dry, added salt, garlic powder, and pepper. Now for the fresh potato salad sauce. So use a quarter cup of olive oil, some salt, pepper, two tablespoons Dijon mustard, and then juice from a whole lemon. Add some garlic powder and fresh chopped dill. Add it to the mixture and combine. Once the potatoes are cooked, go ahead and strain them and rinse with cold water. Now time to cook the fish. I cooked it in butter and put the seasoned side down. Cooks for about two to three minutes and while it's cooking on that side, go ahead and season the other side. Lay some fresh dill on top and once it's ready, flip and cook for another two to three minutes. Add some fresh lemon and then you're all set. All right, so those are some great dinner options, pro-metabolic that are focused on different protein sources and helping, again, to balance your carbs, protein, and fat. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit the like button, comment what you wanna see more of, or if you have any questions, and then don't forget to subscribe. I post a video every single week, so I'll see you next time. Bye.